Hello, hello. I'm the official name writer. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today, we're looking at Quaxly, Quaxwell, and Qua Quavel, which I'm going to go ahead and be that guy. This is dog shit of an official name compared to something like Sprigatito Fue Coco. Like, that's some top tier shit. And then they got to Quaxly and said, Duck go quack quack. But I'm also going to be real and say, I will give Quaxly a pass if it was introduced in a different generation. If you put Quaxly in Gen 8, Quaxly is a fine name compared to Grookey and Score Bunny, but compared to Fue Coco and Sprigatito, it's dog shit. Quaquavo, on the other hand, I fucking despise that name and think I hate it. It's like the worst, one of the worst official names ever, just because it's so awkward to say and spell. And that's saying something, considering we have such uncreative official names like Talon Flame. I, I would not use this nickname at all, but I am highlighting it purely for the pun, and that's it. Like, if I were to rate this nickname, I'd give it a 1 and maybe 2 out of 10. But hey man, you tried, I guess. Not very hard, but you tried. Quacky Chan? I'm gonna give that a 2.1 out of 10, because he's a fighting type. So therefore, there's more brain cells used in that than Jack Sparrow. Is Pave an official name, or is that just a thing people do to roads? Ah, Dolan. There's an old meme. I don't know if we've ever actually seen... I feel strongly that we've seen Dolan before. But I'm also trying to think how many ducks there are in Pokemon, and I can only come up with this. Ducklet and Psyduck. And both of those other ones were like generations apart. So yeah, I think it's only natural that I don't remember. I don't care for the nickname, but at least it'll be obvious. Is Quaxly Crusher going to fit? Because I feel strongly that it won't. Especially because firstly it doesn't have an E, so you added an E. And then Crusher is seven letters, and then you put Quaxly with seven. So yeah, it's not fitting. I don't know why you put that. Uh, though, we are going to highlight this because, you know, things like Darkwing Duck, Scrooge, and just that as a general concept. What's the other one? Duck Dodgers? I, don't, I mean, that probably is somewhere in the comment suggestions. Mighty Duck. Like, those are all, in my opinion, the very first thing you're going to think of. None of them stand out to me. I feel like Scrooge is probably a better one. Because that's... I don't know, Scrooge and Duck just kind of work. as for Huey, Dewey, Louie. Those are just names. Scrooge is not a name. Launchpad is one I kind of like. Quackhead is a joke. You know what? I think I support Fandango. Hold on a sec. Alright, I can't I can't fucking find a, a source for this. Because I thought about the movie tickets. I'm like, no, those are the ads with the paper bags. But why do I feel like Fandango and Duck were somehow related? And I can't think of why. I also know that there was a wrestler who was a dancer named Fandango. And I'm willing to bet Fandango probably just has something to do with dancing in general. I'm not going to talk about something I don't know about. But... For whatever reason, that just strikes me the right way. Also, I just want to point out, for whatever fucking reason, when you go to, you know, more at Reddit, we don't have, what do you nickname your Pokemon episode, blah, qua quavel. I'm not sure why this is it for both, uh, what's his name, Fire, Fuecoco, and Quaxly, but they just didn't feel, Google didn't feel like giving it to me. And that kind of makes me sad. Riptide is a generic water type nickname that we've seen Oh, Lord. I'm actually curious how many times we have seen it. I was going to say hundreds, but I'm like, has it been hundreds? I'm like, if I were to guess, probably at least 50 times by now. Aquarius, we've seen that in the past before, too. Uh, I personally use it for Starmie because water plus star kind of works pretty well together. We just saw Quack Sparrow 10 seconds ago. I don't know why Aquafina is spelled that way, but we have seen Aquafina in the past. Or maybe it was Dizani. Some stupid nerd made a joke about, like, Oh, I named it this, because Reed's description. That's what the bottle says. I'm going to reluctantly highlight Neptune, not because I dislike it, but because fucking Poseidon is right there. And I know some stupid nerd's like, Huh? Roman gods? Huh? No, fuck you. Planets are cooler. Space. I named my water Pokemon Water. Go to hell, you fucking weeb. Quack Ashley is not even a pun. What's wrong with you idiots? Who who put this here? 
I don't know what it is about these fucking starters. We saw we saw something in a variant like this with all three of them. I'm beginning to think the government is involved. Quacky horror picture show. Good luck fitting that into fucking your 12 character limit. I will highlight Serenity right above it. Cause, I mean, Serenity is a name, but it's also kind of like Virtue Binding of Isaac Bayonetta style. So this one gets a pass. Korra. We've seen Avatar plenty of times. Korra, Katara, Zuko. Ironically, I feel like the one that probably comes up the least is going to be Aang. And that's some shit. I'm beginning to see where Ranker got all of its bullshit from. Actually, Donald wasn't even on there, ironically. Tsunami, another ger generic water type nickname we've seen plenty of the times in the past before. It's great if you have no other ideas and just like a word that you could put onto any fucking water type Pokemon. Now, there's no description for this, but I want to say if I remember loosely, basing off the reaches of my mind from 20 years ago, yes, that film is that old, wasn't Splashdown one of the uh, superheroes that Edna was talking about when she said, No caps! I think that was one of them. Meta Man, Express Elevator, Diner Guy, Snag on Takeoff, Splashdown, Sucked into a Vortex, No caps! Technically, Mirror B right here is spelled wrong, but I do like the idea of it because it kind of feels like if they ever decided to, you know, bring back, which gonna say, I really like the cast of bosses in Coliseum. I think they were all riddled with personality and easy jokes to make. XD, kind of as well, but also, I don't know, it was, it was kind of hit or miss. I like Coliseum a little bit better. But Mirror B was like the best fucking bad guy from that generation. And he he would absolutely use a Quack Quavel. And it actually kind of irritates me to see, because I remember when the game came out, people were like, Quack Quavel's movements are distracting. Like... Bitch, go to hell! They actually felt like animating this fucking Pokemon and you complain? What do you want, a statue? I'm glad it moves. Alright, so we've reached the bottom. I think it's safe to say Quack Quavel was probably the weakest choice out of the three. It's always kind of fun to actually look at the metrics. I posted once back in like Gen 6 what the most popular of each starters were based off videos and views and all that, so... Uh, yeah, and it's also interesting to see which ones have the most and least suggestions, and Quaquavel is definitely the one with the least suggestions, so I guess it was the least picked. Honestly, I was gonna go for Foycoco at first, and then I was like, oh, but I have this coast type I want to use, so I guess I'll use Sprigatito instead. So, that's why I didn't pick Foycoco. I did a second playthrough using Foycoco, and then I'll do, uh, something I still need to raise a Quaxi. I don't have that yet. Anyway, comment suggestions, we have Mighty Ducks after the movie. Literally, I said that earlier. Lord Shen after Peacock, Kung Fu Panda, Donald Duck prediction. I mean, we saw Dolan, technically. Well, I don't know if we saw Donald. I think we saw Donald. I might not have mentioned the video, but yeah. Uh, Lord Shen after Peacock, Kung Fu Panda. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've watched Kung Fu Panda since it came out. And I want to say I watched the second one. But I've not watched any of the others, and I'm pretty sure I've only watched them each once. The first two each one time, so... I don't quite remember, but I'm gonna say that's probably just the, the main character, because isn't there a peacock in the main character? And there's also the monkey, which is voiced by Jackie Chan. And that's pretty much all I remember about Kung Fu Panda. Serenade after the Serenade of Water. There we go. I, I, I was right. So yeah, he picked the first three warp songs from Ocarina of Time, and I'm fine with that. I think Bolero is probably going to fit Scaladurge the best because it's a Sing Pokemon. As to where the other two aren't necessarily about Sing. But still, it's when you have collection or you compare nicknames together, it does elevate the others. So when you got all three, it is kind of cool like that. Dolan! Wow, we also saw that too. Muck Duck. I don't know what that is, nor do I know what Kira is, but I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Aqu Aquazel. Simpler version of its original name, Azul Peacock from one of the Barbie movies. Alright, I don't really have an opinion on that one, so I'm just going to close this. And I didn't write anything down because nothing really stood out. Actually, there was one I saw, but this was in, I think, the Scale of Dirge episode. The things I was kind of expecting and figured would happen would be things like Darkwing Duck, Mighty Duck, Scrooge McDuck, Daffy Duck. Uh, I said Duck Dodgers, Huey Dewey Louie. So, like, literally everything that's predictable and obvious is pretty much all I had my goals set to. One I saw, I think it was the Skeletor episode, was Dirty Dancing. And I like that one. I think that one's kind of cool. But, oh yeah, I remember what it was. 
from there, I kind of thought about uh, Mystical Ninja Goemon and how one of the characters was Spring Breeze dancing. And I was like, well, what if there's a way you can try and, like, fuse those two together? And in game, they kind of just refer to him as just dancing. So I'm like, okay, maybe you could do Spring Breeze, but that also kind of has Kirby implications. So I don't know. But I want, that's my kind of goal is to take Qua Quavel and kind of fuse that with Goemon in some way and see if I can make that one work. Because I think that would be good. Kitty Lily, on the other hand, is kind of fucked. I don't really think there's any hope in using that one as a nickname. I suppose you could, but I don't know who on. But I really like Dirty Dancing. I thought that was good. So if you can think of other nicknames in that general direction, because I feel like we focused more on Duck over Dancing. Fandango was pretty good. Yeah, so uh, if I were to recommend other episodes, we also did Gold Duck, that's a duck. We also did Swana, that's a duck. And the other dancer Pokemon that I can think of is going to be Oracorio. Granted, I'm not entirely sure how his dancer Quackhovel's a hidden ability, because if it's not, it fucking should be. Why did you guys fuck it up? Come on! Give him dancer, give Stella, Stella Dirge punk rock. You literally built these Pokemon around this premise, this personality trait, and you can't give them the ability that fits their personality trait? Why am I smarter than a billion dollar company? What is wrong with you fools? You fucked it up. All right, it's not that big of a deal. Any other ideas and suggestions you have, feel free to put in the comments below. Give a thumbs up to the ones you think are good. Prove that you're also smarter than a billion dollar company by providing nicknames. If you can come up with alternatives and maybe <laughs> make it somehow Spanish inspired, that would be even better. Because then it could, <laughs> you could literally not nickname your first two Pokemon, nickname Qua Quavel, but give it a Spanish inspired name just out of spite. Just out of spite. There's got to be something. Like, I don't speak Spanish. I do want to eventually come up with a list of... Uh, Portuguese names for all of them just because in Spanish and Portuguese they say, they share their English names They don't change their nicknames. It's not like German or French or they get brand new localized names. No, we got fucked There's nothing for us. So I don't know. I would love to I think that'd be kind of fun 